Hey Brad, it was nice seeing you again today. Um, real quick, I just wanted to go over my recommendations for your marketing. Um, I think, to be honest with you, you'll probably want to redesign the website uh, or at least write a lot more content for the website. Um, first off, you know, because in order for Google to know what your website is about, you need to have a lot of keywords with uh, keyword rich content on the website itself. and on this whole site, you probably have less than 1,500 words, uh, which if you look at your competitors, look at how many pages they have and how much content they have on each page. Um, and all of that content is telling Google what their website is about and telling Google that they're an authority on that topic. And so it ranks them better. So it, it definitely costs a lot if you wanted to replicate this because they're ranking for a ton of different services and I mean different service pages in a bunch of different locations um, but it's really worth it in the long run if you're getting 3.5 thousand organic traffic per month and even just 10% of them are converting into uh, potential clients as leads calls inquiries and such it's still 300 and 500 or uh, 350 uh, leads per month which is amazing but that that takes a long time and a lot of work um, but you can do it on an even smaller scale where you just choose a few um, really specific uh, service pages and then make service page uh, write a decent amount of content about those service pages and include the specific keywords you want to be ranking for. So let me just show you kind of the type of keywords you'd want to be including. So I'm going to look for things that are related to Phoenix. Because I, I think you're, is your website targeting Phoenix? It doesn't say any locations on this page. Well, um, one of the main things for SEO is you need to tell Google where you're located at. So uh, for the website and the GMB. So over and over again, if you're targeting Mesa, if you're targeting Phoenix, if you're targeting Scottsdale, whatever it is, um, you should have pages for each one of those locations. So Phoenix, they have one in Tucson. Um, but you could do a location page for each uh, mini city that you want to. So let's look. Phoenix. Um, Let's do accident. Dog bite, lawyer phoenix, t-bone accident. So this is a national keyword, and that's awesome if you can rank for it, but then you're going to get leads across the whole country. So we want to really focus on the ones that include the word phoenix. Um, a lot of dog bites, huh? That's what they're ranking for at least. Anyway, so we would make a list of these type of keywords, and then we would find the ones that have the highest search volume. That's what this column is here. And then put them together inside of a content brief. So we'll write the content based around those keywords, using them multiple times on the page, uh, using them also in the headers of each page. Um, and that tells Google what your website is about, and you'll be indexed for more keywords. As of now, you're indexed for a few keywords, but they're mostly about your brand. Um, your index for 23 keywords as compared to uh, this competitor and I just chose this one randomly from the Google Maps because they were ranking on Google Maps but um, if you check out theirs they're indexed for 7,000 keywords because they have so much more content on their page uh, after you get all that content on the page and get all the information correct how you want it um, you have to do the rest of the on-page SEO which actually is pretty easy to do uh, if I build a website it's already optimized for on-page SEO but uh, one thing is making sure the website loads quickly. Your site is really basic. It only has limited or a few images and not very much content. So it's loading really quickly. You don't have any like crazy graphics or anything. So that's great. Um, it, it's a little bit harder once you have like videos and heavy images to keep the page speed fast. And then the other thing is schema markup, which is the code on the back end of the website that tells Google what your website is about. And that you currently don't have. Um, but I don't want to get too technical on you. Just wanted to kind of give you a, a brief overview of the ranking factors for the website. The next thing that uh, I would do if I was to rank the website after make, getting all of the web um, content and on-page SEO stuff finished is going through and doing something called backlink building. So what a backlink is, is it's your website being listed on another website somewhere. So for example, if um, a blog talks or like the top 10 lawyers uh, blog references you and links to your website on their blog that's a backlink going to your website um, and and the, a backlink can be from anywhere it can be from directories like a list of uh, lawyers in the country it could be listed on home advisor yelp yellow pages those are all backlinks 
and um, there's the d different kinds of backlinks weigh heavier in Google's algorithm. Like the strongest kind of backlinks are press releases and guest posts. Um, and then there's lots of cheaper backlinks, which are directories, citations, Web 2.0s, blog comments, uh, etc. And we're not going to get into all of that stuff. But essentially what you want to do is Google thinks that the more backlinks you have from relevant quality websites, the more um, trusted your website is. And so they'll rank you higher for all of the index keywords that you have. So usually what I do is I'll go through some of these really high ranking other websites and go through and try to copy all of these exact same backlinks that they have and get them pointing to your website. And that's kind of a time consuming process, but that's the best way to reverse engineer uh, Google's rankings and then point it to you. Uh, so that's the basics of website SEO and what I'd recommend doing at some point when you have the budget to rebuild the site and then uh, get somebody to do off-page SEO with backlink building. Uh, the next thing I'd recommend and that doesn't take quite as large of a budget is ranking on Google Maps. So if you Google accident attorney Phoenix AZ or near me or any other keyword, you'll see Google Maps shows up right under these ads. And <clears throat> uh, Google Maps is my personal favorite thing to rank um, because it's so powerful. That's where I get most of my phone calls. And there's a couple of really important ranking factors that I can just go over really quickly. One of them is photos. So right now I think you have maybe six photos. I would strongly encourage you to upload photos on a regular basis. Um, photos with clients, photos at a courtroom, photos um, of car accidents, whatever it is, relevant photos that people find in interesting. If you can upload two photos a week, um, even if they're stock images, like some of these look like stock images, uh, that is super, super good uh, for ranking. That's what I do for all my clients. We upload at least one to two photos per week. Uh, and we also geotag them and save them as um, the photos as keywords before we upload them. But you don't have to do that. That's just one of the SEO techniques. Another thing is doing GMB posts. I like, for example, I'm sure this number one ranking guy is probably doing GMB posts and stuff I'm talking about since he's ranking so well. So these right here are products. That's another thing. Wow, that's awesome. I rarely see people actually doing this. So I do this for all my clients where we make products for each of the different um, types of services you do and uh, that helps ranking a ton. There's also a service area as well that you can make a list of all the services. Another thing that's great uh, to do is adding questions and answers. You can have other people log in uh, to their Gmail accounts and ask questions that are common questions and then you can log into the back end of your GMB and answer them. So I do that as well. We'll, we'll do at least three to four questions every month um, and that's super super good for high ticket items like uh, attorneys because people want to ask, have a lot of questions. So these are what I was talking about a second ago. These are called posts. So GMB posts, I personally do them two times a week, unless it's a really high paying client that is really competitive, then we'll do it daily. But two times a week is usually good enough. But they're really basic, not very much content. It's kind of like a social media post with just a link going somewhere uh, to learn more and a graphic, P pretty basic stuff. Um, yeah, so this is a great example. They're, they're doing everything right. The other thing that's a main ranking factor is reviews, of course. You want to be getting reviews constantly and responding to reviews. I have my own review management software that I built. It's called LeadFount. Uh, essentially what we do is anytime you have a client that's closed, it's attached to a CRM. So we, we built out a CRM to text and email clients and be able to communicate under one dashboard. So uh, instead of a messaging on this GMB, uh, all the messages from your GMB, your Facebook, your website, your website chatbot, all of it go onto one platform and you're able to communicate and respond to clients there via text and, and email and Facebook Messenger and everything else. Um, but one of the, the campaigns we like to do is we'll send all the clients after they're closed um, a link like this and then um, if they leave a three star or lower then they get a feedback form. If they get a four or five star they can choose which platform they want to leave a review on. And that's a good way to automate the review getting process. And then if they don't really leave a review, uh, we continue to send them the link with different messages, you know, once a week for the next month and a half or so um, until they leave a review and then it stops. Um, anyways, that's some of the other recommendations I have for you is just really focus on getting reviews, adding lots of photos. If you can do some GMB posts, if it's not too hard, um, you know, looking at this type of thing as an example of product and services. If you're trying to do it yourself, 
or if you just want me to do it, make a quote for you, we can get on a phone call and I can, uh, you know, talk to you about your, your business goals, how large you want to get, what your budget is, and then um, we can work out something, some kind of plan to be able to increase your rankings for your GMB, at least. I think that that's like the best thing to start with. And then later on, if you have a, a bit larger budget, we can start also doing the website and the website SEO. Because all of it together, um, you know, is if you're ranking the website, it also your GMB rankings go up. If you're ranking your GMB, your website rankings go up. So they kind of go together and I like to package them together whenever possible. Um, another thing to help you get leads immediately is local service ads um, on Google. They actually have local service ads for lawyers. So criminal lawyers, uh, let's see. Let's see if they have accident. Um, just look up all the lawyers. Pretty sure they have a lot of lawyers. Oh, DUI. That's a good one for you. Um, litigation, MP, litigation, personal injury. All right. So personal injury and DUI. I think that's what you would specialize in. And these leads are the best paid leads that you can get, um, in my opinion, without having to do a huge budget. Because these work on a smaller budget. If you're doing Google Ads, we need to have at least a $2,000 a month budget to really make Google Ads completely optimized and low cost per lead, still high converting. But if you only have a $600 budget, you can still get really quality leads from local service ads. Let me show you, let's see. Do I have any? Oh, I think, yeah. So this is a local service ad campaign that I launched last month for a roofer. And this is just showing one week of the reporting as they actually paused it right now because uh, one of their uh, one of their guys committed suicide, so they paused the whole business for a little bit. But anyways, uh, so this is how local service ads works. It's pretty much Google um, giving you phone calls, and every time you answer the phone, they'll charge you a flat rate. So for roofing in this area, it's around $30, which is really, really cheap for roofing leads. A lot of times other marketers will sell the roofing leads for $50 to $100. So it's cheap. It's from Google. They're high buyer intent. If it's not a good lead, you can get a refund for it. You can dispute it. Um, there's a lot of different ranking factors for this too. Every platform has its own ranking factors. So if you want to get into this, I can help you set it up and explain the ranking factors for this as well. Um, but essentially, this is just one week and they got 21 leads and nine booked appointments for a roofer uh, with only $620 of ad spend, which is usually what they'd spend on maybe six leads and you know one install. So it's a really, really good source of leads in the immediate because SEO ranking on Google, especially in a really competitive market like injury lawyers, is going to take months, uh, at least you know three to four months before we're able to really ramp it up. Website SEO for a really competitive niche is going to take a lot longer than that. I'd have to look a little bit deeper to give you a more accurate price, uh, especially depends on your budget. You know, if you have a really large budget, we can usually rank it faster, but smaller budgets takes a little bit longer. But uh, local service ads, you don't have to wait for anything. You can just start um, get get approved. You have to get your business verified, um, put your budget in, put the budget as large as you can, and make sure you answer all the calls. And yeah, hopefully this information is helpful for you. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, my website is Magnet Marketing SEO, or you could just Google, you know, best SEO company in Gilbert. We show up number one anyways. So, um, but I think I gave you my business card, so you can contact me that way. Thanks.